My name is Gerard J. Fay. I'm from Boston originally, and uh, I'll be 87 the end of this month, beginning of next month. <laughs> July 23rd, I'll be 87. He do a happy marriage is, first of all, say yes a lot to your wife. That's, that's one of the things that helps a lot. <laughs> the, uh, but no, it, it's, it's having the respect and honor for each other. That's, what, that's what's really, really happy. Appreciate what you have. You have to love your wife, of course. You have to have to really be in love, and uh, and and prove that to her day after day. My wife and I uh, were married for 46 years. She passed away here uh, on my uh, after we were here a couple of year, uh, years, a couple of months, I should say, and she had uh, COPD. So she's been gone just a few years. I, I just, I just loved her to death. She, uh, she was a sweetheart. I used to look at her even, even to a few years before she passed away, and and she'd say, "Why are you staring at me?" And I'd say, "Because I realize how lucky I am to have married you, sweetheart." And uh, it was just a, just a wonderful marriage that length of time. I was so happy with her. But getting married to my wife, it was the best thing I ever did. Up until then, it's strange how it happened. Uh, I used to, I didn't believe in contact lenses when I was fitting them. A, a patient of mine brought her sister to me to be examined and thinking that I did fit contact lenses. And, and I said, gee, I don't once they, they got there. And uh, I referred her to a, a buddy of mine whose wife was his uh, receptionist. And she called me and said, Jerry, don't you know that girl likes you? And I, and I said, no, I didn't. And I said, I, I thought and I said, I'm working so hard. And I love my job, but I keep working at it. And I, I don't have a personal life of my own to speak of, really. I was dating a few gals, but none, none, none that I w was really crazy about. So what I, <laughs> what I, 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 what I did that day, you, you're not going to believe this, but that, but that day, I, I called this patient of mine, who who said to the other to to the other lady that, that she really was was like me. And I asked her out for, for a date. It was the Red Coach Grill in, in Hingham, Massachusetts. <laughs> and in 30 days, I was married. And I, we were married for 46 years, and I was really crazy about her. She was a sweetheart of a gal. I wish everybody could, could fall in love like that. The wife and I were married uh, 74 and a half years. So we had a real good life. 74 years. 74 and a half years, yeah. I didn't, we didn't make it to 75. I'm Herbert Bennett, and I was born December the 4th, 1918. Well, in those days, we got to know each other first. We went together for three or four years. I don't know, some of them get married awful fast nowadays and they don't get to know each other before. I hate my age. <laughs> okay, Jeanette Bryant, I'm 82, and I was born in Lebaskus, Kentucky. So when I went to the city, everything was so new and different. I got a job. I did learn to ride the bus back and forth, you know, to work. And then I met this guy, and we dated and got married. Um, had a lot of issues because we were both so young. But we were married for 48 years. So we managed to get through all of our issues. Um, and I always said if I had a daughter, uh, I would never let her grow up and be as... Um, 
uneducated as what I was regarding a lot of the life circumstances. Uh, but I, I was fortunate I didn't have daughters. I only had sons. <laughs> Communication. I would say that is the main thing in a happy marriage, long and happy marriage, is communication. And if you can't communicate fully with each other, then I think it causes problems. And because I can look back on my own marriage and see that there was a lack of communication, and therefore it caused a lot of problems. So I think that's one of the main ingredients for a long and happy marriage.